What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to Hall of Boxing, where I bring you all the latest boxing news, fighter reviews, and all the controversy going on in the sport. If you like that kind of content, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and turn on the notifications. All right, so as most of you already know by now, and for those of you who don't know, Terrence Bud Crawford, who's 37 and 0, 28 wins coming by KO. He's um, th about to be 34 years of age, and he stands at 5'8 with a 74-pound arm reach and is currently the WBO champion. He, uh, he has been forced by the WBO to defend his uh, WBO championship against the number one contender, Showtime Sean Porter. Sean Porter is 31 wins, 17 coming by way of knockouts with three losses and one draw which is going to be significant here in a minute, and I'll tell you why, but just wait for that. So Showtime Sean Porter is 33 years of age as well, stands at 5'7 with a 69 and a half arm reach, and he once held the IBF and the WBC titles. So Al Heyman of PBC and Bob Arum of Top Ranked were given a deadline of this past Friday to come to an agreement to... Uh, figure out the fight between the two, uh, Terrence Bud Crawford and Sh Showtime Sean Porter, and they were unable to come to that agreement. You know, typically it is hard for um, people to come across the fence, especially when it's uh, PBC and top rank and Bob, Bob Aram and Al Heyman and Leonard Ellaby. They just seem not to like each other. That's why it's been so hard to make the um, Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford fight along with other fights. But they were supposed to come to an agreement Friday, and that did not happen. So the WBO has forced them to go into a purse bid, which is to take place on September the 2nd. Um, this upcoming, I'm, I'm not sure exactly what day that is at the moment, but September the 2nd. So being that this goes into a purse bid, um, it opens it up to where <clears throat> any promotional company can come in, such as like a, a Daz DAZN, such as um, PBC Triller. You, you saw this happen recently with the Eddie, I'm sorry, with the Tiafimo Lopez Cambosis fight where uh, they were unable to come to a decision and went to a purse bid and Triller was able to get the uh, win the purse bid. You know, in this situation, I'm not sure if a Triller will be able to come in and, and win this type of purse bid because you do have the PBC and they typically want to keep the money in-house as well as Al Heyman. They usually don't want to like mix it up. And that's probably be, probably why they weren't able to come to this agreement because they want to keep the money in-house. Whoever puts on the fight wants to keep all of the profit and, and, and be able to control, you know, what goes down. So um, I'm, I'll be looking for the PBC to come on strong in this bid because, you know, it would be beneficial for them to win it as it would Al Heyman. I'm sorry, not Al Heyman, he is the PBC, but as it would um, Bob Arum. As you know, um, Terrence Bud Crawford is signed with Bob Arum and Top Rank, and Showtime Sean Porter is signed with PBC. So, you know, I'd be looking for both of them to be coming in, making a strong bid on it. But I think, you know, with if, if Bob Arum does make a bid, being that this is Terrence Crawford's last fight under that contract, even if he leaves... Even if he, um, top rank doesn't win the bid, but they do put in a bid and Terrence Crawford fights under, say, the PBC card, that'll still count as the last fight under that contract with Bob Arum and top rank. So if, to if top rank does put in a bid, then Terrence Crawford's next fight will count as the final fight in that contract. So the reason I say that that's important for the PBC is because if they can go ahead and win this fight and, you know, show them how they can promote um, Terrence Bud Crawford, which I don't believe Al Heyman, I'm sorry, I, I keep saying Al Heyman, I don't believe Bob Arum and Top Rank have properly promoted Terrence Crawford to, to be the level of fighter um, he is. We've only really gotten to see an eye test from him because they haven't been putting him up against the top caliber guys um, they, and they just aren't promoting him that good. Uh, for, I, I don't know what it is. It's the same thing. I've, I've mentioned this in pre prior videos. It's the same thing they did to Floyd Mayweather. But if the PBC can win that bid and come in and show how they can promote him, put on a good fight and get him out of that contract, then it would be a good way to get him to just come back and re-sign with them right after that. Because as we all know, he wants that Earl Spence fight. And that's the fight to make at 147, if not at any if not just in boxing period. You know, that people will argue Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury's trilogy. Or, you know, uh, maybe Canelo and... 
Jamel Charlo or something, or I like Canelo, I like the Canelo Benavidez fight actually, but yeah, people will argue that, but uh, everybody's looking for the welterweight showdown between Earl the True Spence Jr. and Terrence Bud Crawford, and if the PBC can sway Terrence Bud Crawford to join them after this fight, if Bob Abram does put in a bid in this um, purse bid that's coming on September the 2nd, then that'll be his last uh, fight with them and he'll be able to come to the BBC and there'll be no more excuses for us to make these fights. So, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that's, you know, actually what happened because I, I badly want to see this fight just like the rest of you guys out there. But anyways, with this uh, purse bid going down um, on September the 2nd, you know, if, if you know, God willing, both fighters accept whatever goes down. Whoever wins the bid, both fighters accept the cut that they're going to get. Um, you know, um, Chance Crawford is supposed to get 60% and um, Showtime Chad Porter gets the other 40. So as long as they both accept that, then we should get the fight. You know, it's still not set all the way in stone. It's not a guarantee. Sean Porter has said on his podcast, he has called Terrence Bud Crawford out before. You know, he said he reached out to him a few times. He, he uh, at first, you know, uh, Terrence Crawford was saying that, as well, allegedly was saying that they were friends and he didn't want to fight him because he was friend, whoop, whoop, this, that. Then it came out that he said that he had something bigger on his plate, which we all know was Manny Pacquiao before, um, before even Earl Spence was signed the fight, signed to fight with him, for him, against him, whatever. So that was the fight that he was looking forward to when um, Show, Showtime Sean Porter had reached out to him and he told him that he'd get back to him after that, but he never got back to him. And then um, Sean Porter went out and called him out again and you know he, he posted on Instagram telling Sean Porter that he's testing his patience and you know just to be on standby or whatever. But you know we never saw the fight still and now the WBC again has forced the issue and they, they forced, they're forcing him to fight his mandatory which is the number one contender Sean Porter. Now this is going to be a significant step up fight for Terrence Bud Crawford, you know, who was the uh, undisputed 140 pound champion before moving up to 147 and fighting uh, Jeff Horn and taking that WBO belt from him. You know, after that, he he's fought, you know, a lower level of competition, um, Kell Brook being the best guy on his resume. But and that's what's significant. Kell Brook also fought Sean Porter. Kell Brook beat Sean Porter and took that IBF belt from Sean Porter and later on lost it um, to Earl Spence Jr. But he did beat Sean Porter and Sean Porter just looked like he he just could not adjust to the style of Kell Brook. It seemed like, I guess, because he was taller than him, a little longer than him. He just outboxed him the whole fight and Sean Porter couldn't adjust. But to Sean Porter's credit, he's gotten a lot better since that time. He adjusts a lot better and he's more dog as he just stays, you know, he's a come forward aggressive fighter these days. He's better than he was then. But Terrence Crawford, you know, as we all know, Terrence Crawford went and demolished Kell Brook, even though Kell Brook, you know, at that time he was coming down from 154 pounds and he hadn't fought at 147 since he had lost the IBF belt to Earl the Truth. But that being neither here nor there, Terrence Bud Crawford came and put on a, a beautiful performance against uh, Kell Brook. He knocked him out early in the fight in the mid rounds and, you know, went on to retain his WBO belt. And, you know, we haven't seen him in the ring since then. Now, with all of that being said, even though Kell Brook did go on to defeat Sean Porter and take that uh, IBF belt from him, like I said, Sean Porter has gotten a lot better since then, and he's a better quality fighter than a Kell Brook at that point. Like right now, he's he's a lot better than a Kell Brook in my eyes and a lot of in a lot of people's eyes. So, and he most recently he had the. Um, WBC belt before Earl Spence took that from him and that's what got Earl Spence the WBC belt at back before his accident so this fight with Kell Brook is most definitely going to be a step up fight for him it's going to really like we Terrence Crawford has most definitely passed the eye test take nothing away from him but you know without the the upper echelon competition he just hadn't had that marquee fight that he needs in order to like really show that he really deserves the number two pound for pound spot so this Sean Porter fight, you know, Sean Porter's a dog, hadn't backed down from anybody, has some of the better welterweights, you know, in his time on his resume. Uh, also has Adrian Broner, who came up in weight. 
But yeah, Sean Porter is this marquee fight that he needs. Everybody's been telling him that he needs to fight one of the top three guys. You know, Earl Spence has already fought a Mikey Garcia. He's not in at 147, but he's fought a Danny Garcia, which is one of the top guys in the welterweight division. He's fought um, Lamont Peterson, which was a former champion, a good step up fight for him. And he's fought Sean Porter, which is considered one of the top three or four guys in the division. So now that we got this fight here, um, looking like it's coming to fruition. Now, hopefully it does. Hopefully nothing derails the fight from happening because this is going to be a great one. If we can finally get to see Terrence Crawford uh, versus Sean Porter fight and Sean, uh, Ke I'm sorry, Terrence Crawford gets that marquee win that he's so badly been needing, then, you know, it'll be more of a conversation for the argument of, you know, who deserves what split in the uh, Earl Spence fight versus Terrence Crawford or who gets what, you know, even though Earl Spence still has two belts to shine to um, Terrence Crawford's one. And now if another thing that could go down, if Terrence Crawford does come to the PBC, is he might even get a fight with Ugas prior to the Earl Spence fight and be able to capture that WBA belt that um, your Daniel Ugas just beat Pacquiao to retain or to really show that he is the true champion but he might get a shot at that and it'll be a 50 it'll be a true 50 50 split they'll both have two belts it'll be two two men fighting for both of their all four of their belts two of them hold two belts however you want to put it you know what i'm trying to say that'll be the the best thing to get a 50 50 fight out of it so if that's hap if that happens then that'd be great i want to see the fight you know what i'm saying I, I i believe since earl spence has done most of the work leading up to this point at the welterweight division and has fought in the better caliber fighters as you even heard um Terrence Bud Crawford admit if you go look listen to one of my past videos my last video then you can see that and you can also listen to the audio of it but he admits that um Earl Spence has pulled more weight than him Earl Spence also has more belts than him so you know in my eyes I just see Earl Spence deserving more of the cut but uh, again if he's to go win that belt off of your Danis Ugas and beat Sean Porter and come in there with two belts then it's a 50 50 fight and it just has to be made and at that point then you know Earl Spence has nothing else to say but 50 50 let's get it on so anyway y'all I hope this comes I, I most definitely hope this comes to fruition I hope you know it does I, 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 Sean Porter kind of backed off from his initial statement of saying he's calling out Terrence Crawford and said he's going to let the business play out. But, you know, I don't think Sean Porter's running from anything. Hopefully he, you know, whatever they whatever they bid on is acceptable for both fighters and we can get this fight on because I really want to see Terrence Crawford step up. You know, he passed the eye test. He looks real good. Absolutely one of the top guys at the division, top two. I got Earl Spencer's one because I've seen what he can do against the top, the top tier guys. And I have uh, Terrence Crawford at number two. But you guys let me know what you think down in the comments. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Turn on notifications. I will be dropping a lot more videos. Um, again, we got until September the 2nd. We finally going to get to see if this fight's going to go down. So, yeah. Y'all just have a good day. I appreciate y'all watching. Take it easy.